can see there that I'm outputting directly from my iPhone. Capturing it on OBS for now. And it's going on my screen. I mean, I don't have to use OBS. I don't have to use a capture card, but it is working. You can see there I'm recording directly from my iPhone, capturing it, and it's working perfectly fine. Here we are in the game now. I'm actually recording directly on this capture card. My iPhone is sitting directly in front of me, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, you can see there. Oh, maybe we can't change. Oh, we can change the resolution. Wow. 1950 by 900. Sure. I mean, it's a weird aspect ratio if it's an iPhone. Um, I mean, we'll probably just go with the recommended. It's even got the freaking VRAM down there. Look at that. 1080. Holy smoke. That's getting pretty high resolution. Like, I mean, we're getting into some pretty serious resolution there. This might start to get a little choppy. I mean, it's a powerful phone, but we'll see. Go. That's very high resolution, though. And you can see there that the, uh, yeah, that's fine. You can see there that the VRAM, I believe that's VRAM there, um, is up to f almost 4 gigs. Uh, Metal FX upscaling. Cool. So it's got like kind of like a um, like a FSR or DLSS or XCSS thing. Performance. Off. Okay. Let's try off. And if it if it doesn't run, it doesn't run. We can go back. Normal run. What is all this stuff? Look at all this stuff. Well, you can really play around with the settings. So I mean, you know, if you're getting to the point where you know it's just murdering your iPhone, um, you know, your performance is dropping down significantly or you know, just too much demand, maybe it's too hot draining your battery, you can play around with this. Let's start with like pretty high settings here. What is this? this is like a PC game, like literally like a PC port. You have so much control over it. All right, let's, let's, let's max it. Oh, there's Fidelity FX too, what the hell? Anti-aliasing, look at all this stuff. All right, maybe we won't turn that on. Look at all these settings. Okay, this is pretty high. Like we're getting stressy on VRAM there. All right, let's try it. I have a feeling this is not going to run well. I mean, maybe. This is like cranked. It's probably going to run like garbage, but yeah, there's like three FPS. But I mean, I really cranked the settings up here. This is like, this is my phone. Um, yeah, so it's going to run like terrible. But what this is getting us is we're going to know what we're running. So obviously the game like absolutely cranked is just not gonna work but what we'll do is we'll actually try one of these upscalers so i don't know let's try this one quality let's see what that does i think that alone i mean we're gonna have our settings up really high but our uh oh wow that made a huge difference so our settings are still turned way up but we're using a pretty dramatic upscaler here um now i will tell you on the screen it has a little bit of anti -al it has a little bit of aliasing there um, you can see, oh, I'm holding a baby. Uh, you can see that it's a little bit alias, a little bit of aliasing there. It looks okay. I mean, it looks not bad, right? Um, but, you know, then if I look at my phone, it looks amazing on my phone, like super crisp because, you know, it's super high resolution and everything. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is running very, I cranked the settings, to be honest. I cranked them way up there, right? This reminds me of The Last of Us beginning. Well, vibration is working. Um, Everything just went crazy, and the vibration even works on the uh, uh, on the Xbox controller. So I mean, that's pretty awesome. Okay, it's running perfectly fine. I'm not getting any wonky frame rates or anything like that. Again, we're running at like, essentially basically max settings, like pretty much as high as it could go. I did turn on, you know, it's a very very high resolution, um, and the only thing is I did I did turn on some scaling. And I mean, you can you can hook it up to your screen here. And I mean, really, all you need is a USB dongle. Um, I can throw the this USB dongle in the uh, you know the video description below if you're looking for one. Um, you know, an Xbox controller, an Ipido controller, whatever, and an HDMI cable. And you can hook it up to your TV or your screen, and away you go. You're basically playing AAA games. You are literally playing AAA games on your iPhone um, without any issues whatsoever. So, and I mean, look at this here. And this does not look bad. Like it, whatever it looks like on the camera too, it looks significantly better on the the phone. The phone looks incredible, but it even looks good on this. Like I'm not putting to a 4K display here, and this looks great. Like there's no weird wigglies, you know. There's no um, what are I, like sparkles or anything like that. Like it looks really good. I'm gonna be honest here. This looks really good. Look at that. Um, yeah, very impressive here. And this is coming off an iPhone. And I, like I'm feeling the iPhone here and it's not overly hot. So, I mean, there we go. I guess we've kind of entered a new era here where, you know, we, we're going from generic whatever mobile gaming, gacha games. You know, some of them are pretty good ports and that 
to triple a you know capcom resident evil 8 games and apparently resident evil 4 is coming out and the fact that this runs so well so you know above 1080p standard resolution which you'd be normally looking at um and then you're running it off your phone it looks amazing on the phone and i have all the settings cranked all the way up the only thing is i did is i threw on some of that uh resolution scaling so you could definitely turn down some of those settings and you know kill off the resolution scaling but personally i mean it looks really good to be honest i mean it doesn't look like you may not be able to see on camera, but it doesn't look bad. Like, look at that. That looks pretty good, right? Even with the resolution scan. This is a 4K screen that I'm looking at here. So very, very impressive from, you know, Apple and Capcom, obviously. Um, and I just, I can't wait to see where we're going to go with this type of gaming performance on a on an iPhone.